Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we will be cooking Chinese meatballs in fragrant sauce. So let's start cooking. Now we are going to mince up our prawns. I have with me over here 150 grams of prawns, de shelled and de veined. Very simple, just put it on the chopping board like this. Using your knife, just smack it down, push it to the side first, and continue with the rest. Once you have smashed them, we'll just chop them. Chop them up finely, so that they will be a little bit paste-like. So a bit paste-like, something like this will be good. Mix in your prawn paste together with 150 grams of minced pork. For our Muslim viewers, you can replace this with chicken. No problem. Add in egg white from an egg, one teaspoon of ginger juice, 20 grams of carrot, chopped finely like this, half a teaspoon of salt, a few dashes of pepper, crushed white pepper, and also add in one and a half tablespoon of corn flour. Mix them up well. Mix them up well in one direction. We will need to slam them a little bit so that the texture will be much better. Now we will slam the mixture up. We just slam this until this is really sticky. Okay, now we will shape this into balls. This is the texture that we want, right? So now we will shape them into balls. So next what we are going to do is to make the mixture into six balls. Wet your hands so that it will be easier for you to shape them into balls. Just make them into balls. And now let's go and assemble the dish together. Now we're prepared to shallow fry our meatballs. I'm using the La Gourmet 32cm Galactic Wok. Heat up your oil. Put in your meatballs. I am using medium heat. Frying them will bring out the flavour even better. And we also give it a very nice colour. Now, don't move them around. We'll fry one side for approximately a minute or so. Brown them up. Once they're brown like this, we'll turn them to the other side. Look at how beautiful the colour is. Same thing, we'll fry for a minute or so. Don't move it around too often. Try to brown all sides if you have the time. Just turn it over to whichever side you haven't browned yet. And we just brown them for a little while more before we braise the meatballs. It's going to be so delicious. When you have browned them on most sides, we remove them from the heat. Remember not to turn off the flame because otherwise the oil will be lodged inside the meatballs. Set them aside and we'll remove most of the oil from the pan, leaving one tablespoon behind. Using medium heat, we will prepare our sauce, add in three pieces of shallots chopped. About eight grams of ginger, sliced very thinly like this, and three cloves of garlic chopped. Put them all in. We will fry them until they are fragrant. I like to use this wok because the design is actually honeycomb. And why is this important? Because your food will not stick onto it that easily. Although this is not really a non-stick wok or pan, it's very healthy and you can actually cook your ribs or even your shelled fish inside this. And you are not worried about scratching it. Once you can smell the beautiful fragrance, we'll add in 250 milliliters of water. Add in also one tablespoon of oyster sauce, as well as one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Mix it up well. Add in a pinch of sugar to balance up the taste. And now we'll add in our meatballs. Gently put them in. Spread them out a little bit. Put the lid on and we'll let this brace for five minutes. I'll see you back in a while. Five minutes is up, let's have a look. 
Wow, now we'll taste the sauce to make sure that it's savory enough for us. Very, very nice. Let's just reduce the sauce a little bit, stir them around. Turn the heat up to medium high now. This is so good with steamed rice. Now that the sauce has reduced, we are served now and have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Oh, smells really, really good. Mmm. Bouncy. The texture is really fantastic. The flavor is just spot on. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.